Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm taking a look at the fourth Gremlin release by NECA that's under the Ultimate series. And this one is the Ultimate Gamer Gremlin. And it's a GameStop exclusive. Check it out. So let's break open the box, then I'm taking them out. Let's go. All right, so check out the front of the box here. It looks like the other Ultimate Gremlin uh, box cover art on the front, which I have right here. But this one looks more like a photograph. This one is more kind of hand-drawn, more like a painting. If you guys can see that, it's pretty cool. But this is just another variant of, this is the movie poster, and then the stripe one, which I have here. But this one looks like it's something original, something brand new. They got the Gamer Gremlin coming out. Um, over the top of this, but let's check out the side. Nothing too special, just like all of them. But the back here, I really like. You can see the Gremlins here is more like an 8-bit font. We got the Gamer Gremlin right here, and I really like this. They have like a Pac-Man uh, inspired back here with this little, all uh, these little trails here. But you'll see this character is very 80s with the 2600 uh, cartridge and the Atari 2600 uh, uh, joystick. But that's enough of the back. When we open up the flap, we have a very, very awesome portrait of the Gamer Gremlin right here with his little arcade system. Popcorn, his propeller hat there, and check him out. There he is in the box. All right, that's enough of him in the box. Let's break him open. All right, so here he is, the Ultimate Gamer Gremlin out of the box. And if you guys watched my other two videos on the Ultimate Gremlin or the Ultimate Stripe, you'll know that this is the exact same body sculpt as the other guys. And if I took the ultimate gremlin out of his box, which I'm going to, I'm gonna show you guys side by side, there is no differences with him at all. So if you guys are curious about the articulation of this gremlin, I'm gonna put a link right above to my other video that I went over in great detail, the ultimate gremlin, uh, because he's exactly the same thing, exact paint job and everything, exact articulation in the mouth. And this is one of my favorite things. This is one of my favorite things with these gremlins is the mouth. Look at that mug. He's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna put him to the side temporarily while I check out what makes this GameStop exclusive so unique are the actual accessories. But this is the same backdrop as every other Gremlin, just the, the uh, smoky background, flimsy material, which I'm not the biggest fan of, which you guys already know. But like I said before, with this Ultimate Gamer Gremlin, the accessories is what we're looking for. And the accessories in this are pretty awesome. First off, let's start with the little arcade system that he has here. Check this out. So it says the fail guy up there and it looks like a play on the, uh, the Donkey Kong arcade machine. And this right here does move. So check that out, that's great. This thing actually moves. The button doesn't push or anything like that, but so what, this is cool. The marquee says the fail guy and on top, don't know what that's all about. He's chasing some woman up there. She's running away. And it looks like he's just, you know, he's getting his, his nose bit by a, a dog. And what's this? I don't know what that's all about. He looks like a, uh, an office chair. I don't know. But this is pretty cool. And you can see he's playing that on the box. And then on the back here, he's playing it here. So I'm going to try to actually do that at the end of the video and, and try to have him hold this and see if he can play and how it looks. The cola drink that we've seen before with the Ultimate Gremlin. So it looks like exactly the same thing. You got the plastic straw with the ice cubes on top. Um, that's great. And this is where it starts to get really cool. So right here we have an Atari 2600 joystick. And this is great. I wish it moved, but it doesn't. So this is, you know, it's rigid plastic. And then we have the button here, but this is why I thought this Gamer Gremlin was so cool. It came with all these retro 80s style uh, accessories like this Atari 2600 joystick. And of course, bam, focus. The Atari 2600 Gremlins game, or at least the box of the Gremlins game right here, except it says NECA up in the corner. The pet with a split personality. 
This is amazing. Then we go to the very 80s inspired sunglasses, these wraparound shades that we can put on uh, the Gremlin here, which I'm gonna do after I show you guys what they look like. But that's about it, but check this out. We got a dual purpose popcorn bucket. And if you guys saw the back of the box, which you did, because I just showed you, this comes off and he can wear this on his head. All you do is take out the popcorn here, boom, and that's all it is. And there we go. We can actually put this on his head. He's got the two little eye holes. Amazing little accessory. I cannot wait to try that out. And then it looks like I'm one of the lucky ones because there's a couple videos I've seen where this was already broken. This little piece that snaps off extremely easy. But as you can see, mine's 100% intact and works great. And this is nice. This is actually some very soft plastic, some almost rubber material here. This is great. I can't wait to try and put this on him. And then the first time we've seen this, he has two alternate hands. And I'm guessing it's to um, hold the uh, the joystick or hold the arcade game. Um, but you can see the two alternate hands that he comes with. This one right here, you can tell he's just meant to grab something, hold it kind of like this, possibly. Yeah, I guess, something like that. And then, you know, try to play. We'll see, we'll, we'll see how that works out. But those are all the accessories, so uh, let's go back to the Gremlin. I'm gonna try and get some of these accessories on him. Here's the Gremlin with the shades on. And um, a little, little see-through, I thought they were darker from the promotional pictures they were showing, but it's still kind of cool, man, look at that. I mean, can you get any cooler than a gamer gremlin with these shades on? And then let's try out the hat. So the hat kind of just sits on the top like this. I wish there was a way to kind of, I don't know, have it snap into place somehow, kind of like that. Check them out. And put them on. <laughs> oh yeah, come on, sit up there. Well, you get the idea, but it just sits on there kind of weird. It looks like it's not really meant for him, but this way I, I think works a little bit better. There we go. Awesome. And now let's do the popcorn bucket. Um, once again, it's not really meant to sit on his head. It doesn't, it doesn't snap into place or anything like that. But the best way I found to do this is to take the Gremlin, put his ears back like that, kind of push, push him down a little bit, and then put it on his head and it fits okay. It fits pretty nice. Ooh, kind of see, kind of just like that. <laughs> the gremlin with the uh, the popcorn on his, on his head. That's great. But like I said, it works best, I guess, when his ears are back, because when they're forward, ooh, of course I'm dropping stuff. It doesn't fit on there quite as nice. It wants to push forward. Yeah, it doesn't fit on there quite as nice. So what you gotta do, push these back, and then it fits on there a lot nicer. Well, it was. Yeah, there we go. As we know, if you saw the other video, this hand right here is perfect for when he wants to hold the cola. It fits in there absolutely perfectly, as you can see. So I'm gonna put these other hands on them and see if I can get the, this in there to stick better, the joystick and the arcade. So let's try that out. All right, well, this was kind of a pain in the butt trying to get him to hold this thing, but uh, he's kind of holding it, but it's <laughs> it's almost just like putting it on his hands and balancing it. And he doesn't look as cool as he does right there. I mean, I, if I spent another half hour trying to make him hold it like that, I probably could, but it just took me about five minutes to do this, but there you go. He's kind of holding it, but he doesn't look like he's playing it at all. All right, so the joystick I had a little bit better luck with. So it looks like he's kind of playing with the joystick there. So this hand is great for him holding the joystick and the other one just wraps around like he's playing. Check it out. Did I sell it? Looks like he's playing Atari 2600, right? Hell yeah. All right, so here is the ultimate gremlin and here is the ultimate gamer gremlin. And you can see there is no difference. I mean, right down to the paint job and everything, he's exact. 
But that's what I said. If you want to see the articulation, I'm not going to waste your time in this video going over that because I already did it with this guy. This is the Ultimate Gremlins Cola, and this is the Ultimate Gamer Gremlins Cola. It kind of sucks that they gave you a dual accessory like that, but you know, it's cool. Especially if you don't have this Ultimate Gremlin, you get the same cola cup in uh, the new one. So that's kind of, I guess it's kind of cool. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the GameStop exclusive Ultimate Gamer Gremlin by NECA? Once again, I think he's great, but I also really was in love with the Ultimate Gremlin. And he's basically the same thing. And to tell you the truth, I think these accessories are better than uh, the one that the Ultimate Gremlin came with. I mean, come on. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go.